we have other models for other things, but can the instructor be a people person? Can they understand all about them? Physiologically, anatomy, we, we go into a lot of that. Brain, we, you know, we do brain mapping and neurofeedback here. We have motion capture camera systems here for doing biomechanics research studies. Uh, we have ocular tracking. I have three ocular scientists on staff. Um, so we, we constantly have the opportunity to dive into this knowledge and then go, well, how do we take that and turn it into a layman's term and story yeah. tell that back to where, so that, that's why. That I disagree. I disagree. I think that's the, the, the easiest way to put it, uh, that preceding clip of Travis Haley that you guys saw, I mean, like I said, I disagree. I don't, I don't think that's the right approach uh, to, to shooting instruction. Now, that clip, clips like that have been making the rounds the last few days, and I actually posted that clip up on Instagram uh, and just so I could take a look at what the comments were. Now, why that clip is so interesting is because, in my opinion, that is uh, uh, that that's illustrating this 180 degree difference in terms of instructional methods. Now, there's there's me and a lot of guys like me, or a lot of guys that 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 I uh, I kind of have the same school of thought where things should be simple, pragmatic type of uh, type of approach. We shouldn't try to uh, science it up a lot, especially like. For example, talking about all oh, this, like we got to worry about ocular tracking, this and that. It's like what, like okay. Whereas instead, you can just hey, stare at the spot where you want the bullets to go. If that spot's moving, just keep keep looking at the spot, and the gun will track that spot. Like that is a sufficient explanation as far as like what people need to do and why. Like yeah, keep looking at the spot. The gun's gonna go where you look. Like that's very simple to understand. And, and the more complicated you make it with more terminology and uh, more justification, more science type stuff, I think it, uh, it dumbs things down. I think it makes the instruction less good and less powerful. Like I said, but that's my opinion. I put this up to go through the comments. So let's do it. Let's go through the comments that were posted to this clip on Instagram. One guy says, almost the same bullshit as zero. Instead of human approach, shroud yourself in pseudoscientific mumbo jumbo. Uh, useless keywords that works well. Yes, I mean, in my opinion, a lot of this stuff is marketing. The more buzzwords that people use, that's just better marketing. Uh, one comment: reading the comments, it's like folks don't understand the importance of training with a variety of methods. Does his method works? Sure, for some and not for others. Does this mean it's wrong or a scam? Nope. Everyone should look for any inch to get better and go outside your comfort zone to explore new and different ways of bettering yourself. Now, you, you see a lot of comments like this. It'll be like, oh, I mean, not, not on this specific video, but this type of thinking, it's like, oh yeah, I went to this class and this is what I took away from it. I read this book and this was my takeaway, like these couple things. I don't, like I get where this is coming from, where you think you want to pull the good stuff out of anything. You want to see the good in everything. Or if there's some tr some trainer that's like, let's say I think he's just foundationally fucked up, but uh some people go to the course and they get a little bit better at shooting as a result of taking it. Okay, yeah, I understand what this guy's saying about you want to train in different methods. However, I think when you get to the point where um, it's it's like, oh, we have three ocular scientists on staff. It's like, you've got to understand you're being, like, you're a sucker. You're a dupe at a certain point. Uh, okay, one next comment. I've had the pleasure to meet a lot of intelligent people, and it seems to me that the smarter someone is, the better they are at dumbing things down so that anyone can understand. I've noticed this with the pros I've shot with and learned, learned from. They are very intelligent and can dumb things down very well. My theory so far is the smarter someone is, the farther they can progress in shooting sports as they can have more understanding. Um, yeah, so I think being good at trying to explain stuff to people, if you can't put it in simple terms, you don't really understand it. I've said that a lot. Um, yes, there's that, that is a real thing. Next comment. You have to take into consideration his clientele, Scottsdale people. This is a, talking about Haley again. The more high tech it sounds, the more expensive it is. They eat this shit up. Scottsdale is a whole other world with over the top people living it. Yes. All right. I'm, uh, this guy, I recognize that guy. That guy's another Arizona guy. Like I'm local to this. Like, yes, this is true. Scottsdale is a little bit different. There's people that move to Scottsdale just because it's Scottsdale. Um, 
because they, they have this idea in their head of what that's all about. Uh, yes. Like, and this would appeal to those people. Like the more you science, science it up and nerd it up, the more it appeals to those people. Hell, the ranges around Scottsdale are like this. They're, they're like dressed up trying to look fancy. It's like, I just want a range. I just want to go to a dirt pit and shoot. I don't want all this, all this nonsense. Um, let's go to the next comment. I took a class in February 22 from Haley Strategic Partners. I needed to take a 24-hour class for maintaining instructor certification. Okay, so this is one of their instructor guys. Well, it is certainly a way to approach the basics of shooting. I was kind of disappointed now that I look back on this class two years later. Was it cool taking a class from Magpul Dynamics, dude? Sure. Did I really get anything out of the class? A three by five card worth of notes and maybe a new order of running my warm-up range routine? I was dissatisfied in that we were in the classroom from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and not shot a single round until 2 p.m. some class days. I could go on, but my thumb's getting sore typing this. Like this, like this to me, I see this sort of thing a lot um, where you'll go like guys are like, yeah, I went to this class. And it's like, okay, when did you start shooting? Like to me, if my class starts at nine, I want to be shooting rounds at like nine ten. <laughs> That's what I want because it's a shooting class. I want to start shooting rounds and then, you know, then can layer in more talking as we have to. But I I prefer um, I prefer to get the shooting going. Uh, one guy's uh, comment or reply to that is like same same. Travis confuses round count with word count. Well, that's fair. Um, I think maybe one of the more interesting comments I got on this clip was from uh, Lucas T Rex Arms. Lucas says, "Okay, so I couldn't help but do some math while driving earlier. If Haley is employing three neuroscientists at a rough salary of 130k low end." And then has a bunch of equipment ranging from 30 to 50K to measure stuff and has invested additional employee time, administrative time, let's say another 15K. That means the annual investment of running this program is 445K, low end. Is there 1.3 million return in a program like this? No. Three times needed to cover additional overhead taxes and costs in order to turn profit. Yeah. No, it, this is crazy. Like, I don't, like, I don't believe that, that Travis Haley has three ocular scientists like in a room learning how to do shooting better. Like, I don't think that's happening. I think trying to make it, maybe make it sound that way, but I don't think that's what's actually taking place. Anyway, um, this is stuff that I bang on about a lot. Like, hey, this stuff should be, like, should be presented in a simple way. It isn't really that complicated. Shooting is simple, it's repeatable. Uh, they, it doesn't have to be complicated the way that Travis Haley and a lot of other guys want to make it. That's my opinion anyway. Don't overcomplicate this shit.